Hi, I'm Rhyn Vachan and uh, I'd like to show you how to measure the number of film layers on your bales. Silage is the preservation of uh, forage in the absence of air and uh, uh, oxygen entering bales will promote the undesirable um, microbes to grow. Uh, one of the most common ones that we see on bales, uh, the visible one, is mold growth. Um, and there is nothing more frustrating than opening bale after bale in winter and finding, um, finding mold on them. Uh, and we need to understand um, why, why we, uh, we we find uh, uh, mold and and uh, an undesirable preservation. Uh, on these bales so that we can avoid it in the future. I often get uh, calls from farmers asking for advice um, and quite often um, uh, the, the film uh, is blamed um, but in reality it's not often that we find issues with the film itself and uh, the more likely explanation for uh, for uh, an uh, unsatisfactory preservation and mold growth on bales is due to uh, either physical damage to the film or possibly uh, uh, the insufficient uh, film applied to those bales. So how do we go about measuring uh, the number of uh, of film layers on a bale. So simply what we need is a, um, a, a core like uh, a corer like this. Um, you can simply make your own out of an old pipe maybe and sharpen it at one end. But in this case I have a purpose, uh, purposely made um, uh, core. Uh, so we, we need to cut circle out. The reason why I'm cutting a circle rather than a square with a pen knife is that it's much easier to part, part them when, when we have a circle rather than a square section. So you can see that I have got some insulation tape on my fingers as well. Now then the insulation tape in this uh, case has the sticky side out, pointing outwards. Um, and uh, this, this method um, will make it so much easier to part those, um, those layers apart. Obviously you have to make sure that the film is dry uh, so that it sticks to the film. Now then this job isn't supposed to be an easy task because uh, obviously there's, um, the, the film layers have got tack on them so that they do bond together and the idea is that it, it is difficult to, to, um, to take them apart and without using this method of um, using insulating tape um, it can be quite a difficult task. So what we need to do is um, starting at the edge we need to peel Starting at the edge, we need to peel the layers apart. So then. Need to make sure that they don't blow away. So. Holding it up to the um, to the sun so that I can see, um, you know, if it's if it's still dark, 
see there's more than one layer there. So we've got yeah, so we've got three layers. Right. So in actual fact we've got five, six, seven layers of film there. Um, now then uh, this this bale was wrapped with the intention of putting six layers of film on, on the bale. But in all honesty, they, it's, it's quite likely that there will be areas with, with seven on the bale. So that's good. Um, remember that the absolute minimum number of layers that we can apply on a bale is four layers. Um, and uh, if so in a, in a bale survey conducted in 2012 where we visited 80 farms throughout England and Wales um, we did actually um, uh, take uh, film samples and we counted them in this way um, to assess the number of, of film layers on the bales. Um, in actual fact we, uh, we came across a number of bales uh, which were inadequately wrapped. So. Um, uh, the, in those cases, um, the uh, the intention was to put four layers of film on the bales. Um, on 50 of the farms we visited, they they had intended putting putting four layers of film on the bales, uh, but in fact, um, uh, in a number of uh, situations, we found the bales were insufficiently wrapped and we were only finding three layers of film on those bales. Now then three layers of films is, is totally um, unacceptable uh, in terms of, of uh, the, the film seal that gives us and there will be a lot of air penetrating into those bales leading to um, an undesirable fermentation and an unacceptable preservation of forage um, and a high incidence of mould. Um, applying six layers of film, like we have done on this bale, um, will lead to a much better uh, fermentation and preservation and leading to um, uh, very little mould um, mold growth on that bale, as long as there is no physical damage to the film as well. Um, so, um, so uh, as I said, this is an useful um, uh, measure for you to do um, to understand uh, and ensure that that the job has been done properly. Um, it is advisable to take cores from a number of faces um, along a bale uh, because <coughs> the likelihood is that there will be, if there is an issue, there will be a weak point. Uh, when I say uh, in those bales that have been wrapped with three layers of film, now then the likelihood is that it's only a, a narrow strip, um, possibly less than a quarter of a bale, um, that has only three layers of film. But it is through the weakest point that air will penetrate. Um, and by taking samples from a number of locations um, along the, 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 the bale, you will identify where that weak point is. So hopefully um, by, by counting film layers um, you will be able to identify any issues that arise and, and hopefully rectify those, uh, those issues in future. Thank you.